Hi guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. And uh, I noticed a lot of guys do sort of unboxings as they drink a beer. Uh, with the painkillers that I'm taking and stuff, it can actually get quite dangerous for me to drink alcohol. So I found Cherry Coke in Canada, which is actually quite rare, at least out here in, the, uh, in Alberta, in the western part of Canada. So I bought some at Christmas time. You Americans don't know what you're missing. Ever since they started putting corn syrup in your soda, uh, we call it pop in Canada, in most places in Canada, corn syrup really changes the flavor. But here we use real sugar and uh, not corn syrup and the pop tastes really good. I used to be super addicted to Coke and I'd be drinking three or four cans a day now, you know, maybe a can or two a week. Still probably more than I should, but. Here we go. I got a package in from my friend, uh, Joe. That's what I'm calling him. Uh, those of you who aren't aware, I get a lot of my knives uh, that I purchase online sent directly to my friend, Joe, in the US and he checks the knives out to make sure that they are in good condition for me first. And if they are uh, have a loose pivot, you know, in Canada, CBSA, Canada Border Service Agency, uh, sometimes takes a knife away if you can do this, just by doing that flick with your arm and making a knife open. This is a Spyderco Resilience. I like this big beast. Well, it's not quite heavy enough to be a beast. I like the resilience a lot. Um, I haven't done a review on this yet. Oh well. Anyhow, I'm going to use the resilience to open this package. Boy, oh boy, I'm making this take forever, aren't I? Oh, being careful, I don't want to cut through anything that's in there. What have we got? Woo -hoo -hoo. He's repacked a number of these things just to save space for me. This is a marbles box. Marbles, if it's marbles, it's quality. I saw this knife uh, a couple times this year as I was shopping and things, and I'm a sucker for black wash, which is what we got here. And I thought these deer tracks on this G10 looked kind of cool. So uh, I got this knife. Nice hollow grind. Lockup looks pretty good already uh, to start with. It's an assisted knife. Oh, I think we're gonna have fun with this. This is the MR324 by Marbles, made in China. I think this is gonna be a decent review. Quite deep carry, tip down. Thank you, Marbles. Let's grab another one. Oh, he's got this one wrapped up in newspaper in order to save space uh, or weight or whatever. Come on out, come out, whoever you are. It's a black flipper. Ah, it's catching on the pocket clip. Another tip down pocket clip, Ooh, not an assisted, or is it? Maybe it feels like there's a spring in there. Very often when it's cold, like we're in the middle of winter now and so it's cold out and so uh, nothing really wants to move that well. It just takes a, a little bit of working in to get stuff to move. So this is a Rough Rider. Yes, I've had a couple guys um, telling me, well, are, are you gonna check out a Rough Rider knife? Check out Rough Rider, Rough Rider makes good knives. When are you gonna review a Rough Rider? So I was looking around, Rough Rider is, um, I guess a lot like Schrade in that they've got a number of knives that are the old classic folders. You know, this style, classic folding knife. They've got a lot of those. And I noticed they also have modern folders as well. This one's a with aluminum scales. I like the two-tone on the blade there. That clip point looks very dramatic. Feels good in the hand. 
The weight doesn't feel too bad. The lockup looks like it's exactly where I like a new knife to be. Yeah, there you go. A rough rider knife. More details when I do the full review on this. Got me a little wee knife. This is also a rough rider knife. This is the RR162. Almost feels like a bit of candy. This is the smallest knife that I own now. <laughs> you wanna, are you ready for it? <laughs> there you go. Oh, here we go, like this. There we go. So look how tiny that knife is. I've got a ruler here. So there you go. See that? Those of you who are not into metric, check that out. Wow. Hopefully that focused. This is my smallest wee knife by Rough Rider. Sometimes you look at the measurements on an online, uh, in an online store and you take a look at the pictures and stuff and uh, your brain just doesn't register the numbers. <laughs> That's it. Look at the box is huge compared to the size of the knife. It's just, <laughs> that is so funny. The box is just huge. <laughs> okay, that I'm not sure that's going to get a separate review. I might just talk about that along with another tiny knife. Okay, I've got two or three more here. What do we got? Um, a man's knife. Another Rough Rider. I really like giving um, brands a good try. Uh, for my first taste of a brand, I like to get several knives so that I get a, a, a decent kind of feel for the company. This is... Uh, well, this is that prostate knife that uh, I was looking at. I forgot that I actually ordered it. So half of the proceeds from these knives, uh, says support the cause on the blade there, but I will test the actual quality of the knife itself and uh, we'll do a review on this. And the final knife is a dog leg jack. It says, that's sharp. This is also a Rough Rider knife. So I've got, technically I've got four Rough Rider knives, uh, one of them being this little guy. A uh, little leather pouch that you can drop in your pocket or the pouch has got a clip on it. That's kind of unique. So you can put the, uh, the pouch in your pocket so you can either clip it on your belt so that the pouch is sticking outside or you could stick it in your pocket so that the clip is outside and the pouch is inside. I'm sure there's a number of different ways that you could carry this. And of course, this is a more classic kind of knife. You've got a lanyard with a uh, you know small uh, a small bead on there, and we've got a couple of blades. Ooh, that's tight. Oh, there we go. So a sort of toothpick kind of blade here and a clip point there. This is a 440 steel. <laughs> oh yes, 440 razor sharp steel. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This is the RR1017. Uh, the uh, small, the thinner blade here is just a slip joint but this guy is a backlock inside this knife. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, right on the blade there, it says Dogleg Jack. So thanks for sticking around and watching. If you like this video, click on the like and click on the share. And thank you for subscribing and uh, let people know about Canadian Cutting Edge. But remember always to cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.